the unmistakable shriek of a youngster thoroughly enjoying himself. The makeshift swing made from disused syntheto rubber tire works like a real swing shoot. Only problem with that statement is that that hasn't been a real swing available for the last 100 years or so, especially one that offloads its payload into a sorry excuse of a stream. Joe, my turn, cepatlah, pleads another youngster, crouching close to the embankment of the stream, looking up at the swashbuckler Joe. Wait lah, few more swings, I promise. So he says, his grin belies the fact that Joe the swashbuckler is imagining himself as that much vaunted hero of the North, a fellow swashbuckler, Cheng Ho. The fable and stories about the exploits of this famed traveller, an admiral of the high seas, becomes the subject of many adolescent daydreams, and Joe is no exception. Zulkifli Hassan, balik! The expression white as a ghost takes on a physical state in the form of our young hero. Balik! Helter Skelter best describes the scene as young limbs struggle with shrubs, small vines, and bushes with the occasional dip in the cold stream by members of Joe's entourage. Our hero scrambles as fast as his sinewy legs could propel him to the source of that summon. In a flash, all that was is now a quiet village track, closely meandering next to the stream. The syntheto rubber tire is all that's left of the perch where the gallant admiral stood watch. Joe cuts his way across villages, taking their leisurely walk back to their homes in the beautiful sunset Rambau is notoriously famous for. That was the last thing on his mind. He feels the anticipated physical contact of his back as his mum reminds him about the ills of coming home late, and especially during dusk. He expertly moves between lines of slow-moving villages and stops. Total stop. A bright blue light shines on his head and a slow hum begins to permeate the village. The other villagers have seen this thing before and continue their slow walk home. Joe, on the other hand, has not seen this thing up close, especially when it's transfixed on Joe. Its two red eyes follow Joe's every movement. Joe stops, afraid what this thing will do to him, especially since it obviously has interest in what Joe was doing. What is this? What have I done? Hoi! Apa tercengang tu? Balik! The thing barks. Joe nearly faints as this thing just spoke. Just like his mum. You like your new homejaring.net drone? Ha ha ha. That frightened you. Start walking home. He'll follow you home. Joe knows. He smells and not from the escapade he just had. He walks the best he could under the present circumstances. Ma, I will prepare Joe's shower and clean his clothes. Weather tomorrow morning will be bright and sunny, good for natural drying. I will wash Joe's pants tonight as there are multiple organic discharges detected. A soft, monotonous voice permeates from the drone hovering above Joe at the bottom of the veranda steps leading into the kitchen of Joe's house. Joe is a picture of pure dejection. Not only has his fun ended prematurely, he has soiled his pants and his dear mother has acquired this newfangled device without even telling him about it. Ma, it's not funny. How could you? Ma is humming away joyously. She is a picture of a perfect blissful homemaker a small grin escapes her demeanor as she attempts to look serious. Thank you, James. Joe, go and mandi. Take off your clothes for James, please. James, please prepare Joe's mandi. With precision, the semi-autonomous AI drone carries out the instructions of Mark with smooth efficiency. <laughs> James Conan bleh. His response is typical from a mini alpha male of his family. His dad, who is a strict disciplinarian, is often away most days as his job takes him to numerous locations in the southern areas of the peninsula, leaving Joe in charge.
or so he thinks.